concerned about which way did I pull this off you can always look right here where it says whatever it says it's on both sides here and here it'll match up yeah the other side don't have it so and I've already put water in the base all right, this is the important part. To prevent leaks. Make sure you got it all the way down before you try to. Before you try to use these plastic candles to. Because you don't want to break them. But you see even ours, how loose they are? Sometimes you'll get leakage, we probably will one day. Just make sure all your seals, because there's really nothing that's gonna hold it. But if you do, and you still get leakage, you can actually take some hose Cut you a piece of the length of this right here. Cut you a slot all the way down it. And just stick it up on that. Stick it up on this. That way. It just gives it a little bit more. Because even ours is loose. But it actually pull it up tighter. You can watch YouTube videos on it. If you... We have ours up on a cinder block way. Why? Yeah. Because we actually cut our things a little shorter than what we should have. Okay. So we just need to bring it up a little bit to give us to drop down a little bit more. All right, and you have. You want no slack in your hoses. No, you don't want a bunch of slack. You don't want them to be doing anything like this. You want them to come straight out of your tank, straight down. Like this. Yep. You don't want a bunch of slack and everything in there like this. The longer it has to get to the filter, the the more chance that the clog is going to happen in the tube. You don't want that. All right. So you've just red flat down. Could you do that one more time? All right. Slides in. And then. Push down. Mm -hmm. Make sure all your hoses are good and tight. Like ours scooted back as far as I can get it. So just... Did you pump it yet? I don't really have to. It's already got... That's only on your first startup. Okay. So on your first startup, what would yeah. you do? On your first startup, there's not already water in your line, so you don't have a suction. Okay. If you already got water in your line, as soon as you turn it back on, it's already got a, it's pretty much a um, siphon. Okay. It's going to fill your jug. Our jug's totally full now. But if not, first start up, you would just pump. And then it starts its siphon. Ew. Yeah. That was what was stuck in the hose. And that's even when you have a straight up and down hose. You can clean your hoses and stuff, though. Yep, that, that is why we have one of these. Here, hold that. That thing can go in one side and out the other. That is some immense flow. Because, like, when we started, before we started... Well, we plus was, don't have a, a low of water. Yeah, but... We did not have any flow. It was really slow flow. That's how we knew that it was time to change or to clean the filter. And always have a catch basin just in case you do have leaks. I was going to mention that, yeah. That's why we have a pipe pan under there. A pretty deep one. Just in case we have some type of leak, maybe we'll catch it before it floods our... Electrical? That's another reason why the electrical yep. is up, up here not at the floor 
because if there is a flood then all of the electrical will not get to the water before it just goes out into the floor you don't want to electrocute your fish or yourself yes that i've seen uh, stories of people doing that. one other important thing um your heater so your heater if you are changing your water make sure that you turn off your heater or else you will burn your heater up even if you're not going to be going below your heater it's a good idea to go ahead and unplug it because you might forget and while you're cleaning you accidentally go below the heater and all of a sudden your heater doesn't work anymore